Now this process is aided by two instruments Agni and Surya. Agni we have seen already as the last prayer we saw at the very beginning of this talk. But in the next verse comes the prayer to the sun. If you see the verse number 15, there is a very interesting statement. Hiran mayena patrena satyasya apihitam mukham tattvam pushan apavrinu satya dharmaya drishtaye Pushan is the name of the sun. The sun stands for the integral vision of reality. In the Vedic and Upanishadic language, whenever the word sun is used, it is used for the integral concentration of consciousness. It is not the physical sun which is worshipped. It is the integral concentration of consciousness which is worshipped. So while we are in this state of ignorance, it is revealed to us that there is behind you an integral vision of light of which you are not aware. Because you are exclusively concentrated upon a limited field. But if you can withdraw from yourself, and if you enlarge yourself, the double method, the method of avidya is enlargement, the method of vidya is withdrawal. By simultaneous withdrawal and simultaneous with enlargement, if you develop yourself, then you will realize this integral vision now this integral vision is today hidden from you hidden by what hidden by the brilliant ideas of your own mind, even when you rise very high in your mind. Between our present mind and enlarged mind, as you develop more and more, you will discover that between the mind and the integral vision of reality, there are there is multiple levels of consciousness of which I had spoken earlier. There is integral vision of reality, multiple concentration of consciousness and exclusive concentration of consciousness. Now when you withdraw from the exclusive concentration of consciousness, enlarge yourself, you will come across multiple concentration of consciousness, multiple levels of consciousness. Now these multiple levels of consciousness are much more brilliant than the mind. But even these multiple levels of consciousness, they actually hide the face of the integral vision of reality. Therefore it is called golden lid, hiranmayena patrena. Our mind is not so hiranmaya, is not so golden, but the intermediate levels of consciousness become more and more golden as you rise higher and higher. As we find, for example, the thoughts of a philosopher are more bright than for thoughts of ours. Thoughts of great scientists are much more golden than our thoughts. As we rise higher and higher, brighter and brighter ideas begin to dawn upon us. But even these ideas are not that ultimate vision of reality. 
and if you remain confined to them then they serve as a cover again another exclusive concentration of consciousness by which you are limited to that field only and that highest vision is hidden so what happens is that as you rise higher and higher you will discover a golden lid of higher multiple levels of consciousness then you worship sun the the supreme reality and say you kindly break that golden lid and when that is broken then the full light of integral consciousness begins to manifest and that is the goal the integral manifestation of consciousness so now read again the same sentence the face of truth is covered with a brilliant golden lid that do thou remove or fosterer fosterer means the sun which fosters this new development for the law of the truth that integral vision of reality is the law of the truth for sight so that you can see it drishtaye for the for the drishti you attain to the drishti this is the prayer which is addressed to the sun to the integral vision of reality <coughs> 